what's going on guys i'm sorry i didn't make a video yesterday i got a little bit distracted um i ended up out here in a giant field looking for treasures and stuff so what i'm doing today is i am taking that down i'm taking all of that uh corrugated sheet there and i got a little corrugated roof for like a cubby house or something but um unfortunately all of the other good stuff here is being cleared out uh the dude that owns the place is is leaving he's moving country and he just wants to get rid of everything so yeah i'm gonna take this down and then try and get it all home One more wall to do, but I'm going to pick up all these screws because you don't want to be that guy that takes apart something and leaves screws everywhere for people to get stuck in their tyres. Pick up your screws. So we've finished up here. We're all loaded up and that's all taken down. We're off home. I feel a bit sad. The old, he's an old dude. He lives in, uh, lives in the Philippines, a teacher in the Philippines. So, um, he, he had this property here for ages and like, yeah, this is where I used to drive, we used to drive through here every weekend to get to our Forby spots, so um, we were probably somebody that he used to yell at a lot for being noisy. Yeah, he's selling up his property and moving over to, um, wait, did I say Cambodia? No, it's not Cambodia, the Philippines. He's moving over to the Philippines and yeah, he wants this, he doesn't want this property anymore. He had a few people living there and they, they wrecked the place, stole it, uh, stole a lot of stuff from him and stuff, which is unfortunate. But that's the sort of stuff that happened. So we're on our way home and I'll flow this stuff, clean up the backyard a little bit more and then maybe get onto some concreting, maybe, I don't know. back home um, it's been a, a little bit I've offloaded everything and I did a few other things but um, last night when I tried to uh, use the block and tackle to pull this and flip it over but um, the strap snaps so it's too heavy to do it like that so I got to think of another way I don't really want to be asking people to help me flip this um, and if I'm gonna get help, I need help to stand it up because I don't want to break everyone flipping this over. Okay, but I'll break everyone to get it up there because I'm not gonna be able to do that. I won't be doing the concreting today only because I didn't realize that concreting, my hair got grays in it or is it just because it's ref All right, whatever. So yeah, I, I, it's expensive to keep playing with, uh, well, it will be expensive if I keep playing with it and trying to work out how to do it. So I'm going to wait until I have to fill this up with concrete um, and use that as my trial thingy. I think, I think that I have it worked out um, and that it'll work all right. Good enough to hold the bottom of the door frame anyway. It's just to hold it up. It's supposed to support the weight. 
um, from pushing down just because the limestone is limestone and if I bolt it into the walls I don't want it pulling down and um, swaying backwards and forth so I think it should be all right I hope <laughs> if anyone that watches this um, knows a lot about concrete please give me tips um, another thing I want to know is it possible to pour a six by six six meter by six meter slab using uh, using the cement mixer will is it doable can will I be able to do it and and is it cheaper because I've priced it up to be about eight hundred dollars to do it myself about twelve hundred dollars to get a truck to do it so yeah <laughs> But today, the reason why I'm not doing that is because like, I spent most of my day lazing around. We've got the air vents in, so that, that's something we're slowly moving forward. But I have to move uh, the Hilux cab under here, um, all the way up here, so I can get the trailer in the backyard, because the trailer is staying the night, and I don't want to be leaving it out the front. I'm going to show you the pond I got the other day. I think it's pretty sick. Um, yeah, eventually it'll be in an outdoor enclosure. Uh, it was up for like 80 bucks or something. And and I just assumed that it was going to be smaller, but it turned out to be an alright size. So I picked that up. Um, hopefully I have a use for it. Otherwise I'll just resell it. So, yeah. But this is, what, this is the cab that needs to be moved all the way down there. So I won't bore you with that unless something interesting happens. I'll leave it here. Take it easy, stay awesome, and remember, you can't fail if you try. See you later.